I have too much debt. Can I do infinite banking? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. The Wealth Nation channel is dedicated to teaching you all about infinite banking. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video so that you're notified when we upload new videos. I have too much debt that is, it sucks right now. Um, if I can say that, be honest with you, yes, it does suck, but you can use infinite banking to get yourself out of debt. Now, what's going to happen is you're not going to reduce your minimum payment. You're just going to redirect it. So infinite banking, if you can afford to um, save money and pay your debts, what you're going to do is use infinite banking to take over some of those debts and redirect those funds back to yourself. So it doesn't matter how much debt you have or what you want to use infinite banking for, whether it's your mortgage or you just have a whole bunch of credit cards or a car note, you can use infinite banking for anything because it's infinite. And the most important thing is the banking process. You're already banking because you have debt. You borrowed money from someone else and you're paying them principal and interest which is leaving your household. Infinite banking is gonna allow you to re redirect those funds back to yourself. Mm -hmm. And to put things into perspective, uh, Darius and I, we had $60,000 of debt, we paid it off, and then we got back into more debt. <laughs> <laughs> so we started infinite banking with over $120,000 of debt. Yes. So if you think it, you have too much, we had a ton and are using infinite banking to pay off all of our debt. So don't ever think that you have too much debt um, and that this process won't work for you. Because like Darius said earlier, it's just about what are you doing with all of the other funds that yeah. aren't being used to paying off debt and being able to utilize those funds so that you can slowly start taking over that debt. So, so don't get discouraged if you feel like you have this weight on your shoulders. Darius and I started with $120,000 of debt. Yeah. And in one year, we knocked all of that down to uh, $80,000, which is huge. Mm -hmm. So um, things just to keep into perspective. Yeah. Um, uh, for those of you who don't have debt, you have other things that you want to get accomplished, you can use infinite banking for anything, for investing, for real estate, for mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. um, uh, business opportunities. Oh yeah. There's an infinite amount of things that you can do. It just depends on your situation. Yes. Everyone's different. Everyone's uh, uh, debt obligations are a little different. Yeah. And you can use infinite banking for that. And I'm glad that you brought that point up because I feel sometimes a lot of people think that infinite banking is just for debt relief. No. And that's not the case. Uh, we're, we talk about banking. So in, in the words of banking, we're just talking about money in general. So you can use infinite banking for a variety of different things. Mm -hmm. For us, it was debt. For other people, it may just be cash flow or investing. Mm -hmm. So depending on exactly what it is that you want to do and the goals that you want to accomplish, we can help you with that when it comes to infinite banking. But don't ever feel like, in this video, this video is talking about debt specifically. <laughs> if you feel like you have too much debt or maybe are over, uh, over your head kind of thing when it comes to understanding your options, then just reach out to us. Our email is in the comment sections below. Yeah, um, the best thing to do is just to, to get started. Get started with saving money, paying yourself first, and getting started with infinite banking. Absolutely. All right, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also like this video and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will. <laughs>